Hey boys and girls, this is Wild Man Wilson, and I'm doing a review of NXT Takeover Orlando, which came on the night before WrestleMania 33, and this was way better than WrestleMania 33. Everybody put on a hell of a match, even people you didn't think that was going to put on a good match did. So it was a nice short show. It was only two hours and 30 minutes. Not the seven-hour mess that WrestleMania was. So the matches went straight into the point. They was one behind each other. We got introduction to new belts. Had a new couple of new wrestlers in the ring that I haven't seen before. And the tag team title match to me was the match of the night because DIY... The Authors of Pain and The Revival just killed that joint. So, the first match was an eight-person tag. We had Sanity versus Ty Dillinger, Ruby Riot, Roderick Strong, and Cassius Ono. Pretty good tag team match. Everybody did their part. Everybody loves Ty Dillinger. Cassius Ono with that turnaround knockout elbow. It's just awesome. Good to see Eric Young and his crew taking the win. Sanity is a pretty good group. They kind of almost are the polar opposite of the Wyatt family, but they're more interesting at the moment because they don't know what to do with Bray and them up on the main roster, which is a damn shame. But Sanity picks up the win. Next we had the debating Alistair Black versus Andrade seeing almost. And this was a good match surprising in her. Almost was very good in this match. This is one of his best matches that he didn't had on NXT so far. Alistair Black is a sight to see, him, and hopefully they'll do good things with him, and he looked like he could be the next one that could take over that dark character like The Undertaker. We'll see how that goes with him. Alistair Black picks up the win, and it was a very entertaining match. So the next match was the match of the night. To me, the match of the whole WrestleMania Weekend DIY versus Office of Pain and a revival in a three way match for the NXT tag titles. And we got new NXT tag titles, and they was just back and forth, forth and back. Authors of Pain and improved a lot in the ring, and DIY and a rival, they're just too awesome to be down in NXT. But my fear is if they bring them to the main roster, they'll screw them up like they did American Alpha. But these guys have a little bit more personality than American Alpha. And we'll see how that goes. And Authors of Pain are still your NXT Tag Team Champions. And just a fun, fun match. Pinfalls, near finishes, and everything. It was just excellent, excellent. This is how wrestling should be. And... This just shows once Hunter gets his reins and everything, hopefully we'll go back to the old school wrestling that we really enjoy. So the next match was Amber Moon versus Oscar for the women's title. They put on a hell of a match too. A lot of people were thinking that Amber Moon was going to win, but she didn't. Oscar actually cheated to win the match. So she was... She's been a little bit heelless late, but that's like Oscar's character anyway. So people were still cheering for him because she's been the champ for the whole year. So I, I enjoyed this match a lot. Better than the uh, SmackDown women's title match. This was actually a real wrestling match. So it was cool to see Amber Moon probably end up getting the title at NXT Brooklyn. We still see about that. 
So the last match is Bobby Roode versus Sensuke Nakamura for the NXT title. Mr. Glorious himself versus the King of Strong Style. And Nakamura and Bobby Roode just pull on a hell of a match. They told a very good story with Nakamura trying to avenge his title loss against Bobby Roode. But Bobby Roode was a little bit had a better step on him and just took advantage of certain things that Nakamura did. And the glorious one keeps the title. So most likely Bobby Roode will end up losing his title probably at Brooklyn. Against who? I don't know how they're going to run this or who it's going to be. But at the moment, just bask in the glorious one, Bobby Roode. All in all, this was a good NXT special. The crowd was just on point from beginning to end. They wasn't really dead through none of the matches. They were hyped through the whole thing. And it wasn't like dag on um, WrestleMania where after the Hardy Boys came out, the crowd was just black. So all in all, once again, NXT TakeOver was better than WrestleMania. That's my review. This is why I'm all the sign off. See you next time.